this burger y'all okay so mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing some of my favorite plant-based as well as alkaline comfort foods so let's go ahead and jump right into the recipes now this first meal is kind of like a sweet potato bowl it's something that's filling and hearty think about an acai bowl but instead of an acai base you have a sweet potato base as far as the toppings for this bowl i'm going to add banana blackberry walnuts and hemp seeds I'm first gonna start off by chopping up the banana in little small pieces. And for the base, as well as some protein, I'm gonna add some amaranth. Amaranth, amaranth is a super grain. It's packed with so many nutrients, so much protein. Amaranth has become one of my favorite alkaline grains. I like to make this whether it's up with something sweet or with something hearty. I actually use this in my last video, so you can go ahead and check that out. To make the amaranth, it's super simple. You just boil it over water. And it takes anywhere about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the thickness or consistency that you like it. For the base of my bowl, I'm gonna also boil some sweet potatoes. And after both of those are boiled, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of amaranth on the bottom. I am making a larger portion because I'm gonna actually meal prep this. A teaspoon of vanilla, one fourth tablespoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can also do this to taste. And because I want the base of this smoothie to be very, very thin and milky, I'm going to add about one fourth cup of hemp milk. You can also do this to the consistency of your liking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my Ninja blender until it's a nice puree. After the amaranth and the sweet potatoes are boiled, this is a really simple, easy meal to make. Because I blended the amaranth into the sweet potato and added some hemp milk, this is gonna be a very smooth consistency. Then I'm topping it off with more amaranth because I feel like it gives it a nice texture. Think of something like grits or cream of wheat. And the sweet potatoes as well as the fruit give it a sweet taste, but I'm gonna be a little extra because I need some comfort food. So I'm gonna add some date nectar. Majority of these items are actually alkaline beside the sweet potato. You can switch the sweet potato out for something else to make this purely alkaline. But this meal, you guys, is absolutely delicious. It's very filling, it's sweet, it's hearty, and it's very healthy, depending on how much date nectar you add, but dates are natural, so it's nice natural sugars that you're getting. This is perfect for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, midnight snack. It's super sweet, super tasty, super filling, and even though it's comfort food, it is relatively healthy. So amazing. So amazing, and it's so filling. You guys will love this, especially with the date nectar. Try date nectar instead of agave. Switch it up a little bit. It's also alkaline. This next meal is hands down my favorite. These are my plant-based crab cakes and they are bomb, y'all. I'm gonna be making the crab cakes out of heart of palm. These are actually really nice because it gives it a really nice texture. I've found that with vegan food, as long as the texture is pretty accurate, you could pretty much finesse when you season it right. So I'm gonna pat these completely dry or as dry as I can. One, it's easy for them to pull apart, and two, it's gonna make for a better crab cake. So as you can see, when you pull apart, it kinda looks like crab, or it might look like a mozzarella cheese stick, depending on what you think. But I personally think it looks like crab. Super easy to pull apart, and as you can see, it's very meaty looking. Sea salt to taste, as well as garlic pepper, raw onions, about two tablespoons of lime juice, and this is also to taste. I'm a very limey person, so I'm going to add even more lime. And then to get that sea taste, I am going to be adding some nori. I found that this actually works good if you kind of roll it up and then you just uh, grate it with the cheese grater. Or what you can do is chop it up and then put it in. I add about one fourth cups of nori and a few drops of liquid smoke. You wanna be careful because if you OD with this liquid smoke, it'll be too much, but it's gonna give it a really nice flavor. And to make this all combined well, I'm going to add one fourth cup of garbanzo bean flour. Honestly, you guys, whatever you like your fish to taste like, season it with something like that. I like a smoky lemon garlic type of fish, so that's the kind of seasonings that I wanted to add to my crab cakes. 
As you can see, the consistency is starting to look really good. And I also forgot to add my one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, which is gonna give it kind of like a cheesy flavor. So to coat my crab cakes, I'm going to be using garbanzo beans, as well as a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning and a little tiny bit of nutritional yeast on top. The nutritional yeast is gonna give it a nice flaky texture, so that's why I also added it on the batter for the breading. And now it's time to turn our little mixture into little crab cakes. And if you guys are concerned with the type of seasonings to use, just use whatever seasoning that you would use to season any type of fish. If you like Cajun, do a Cajun seasoning style. I personally like a smoky, lemony, crab cake so that's what i'm going to be making for my crab cake seasoning now i'm going to be dipping all of the crab cakes into the mixture and then to give it a nice crunch i'm going to actually take these puff kamut which is an alkaline grain i'm going to dip my crab cakes into the kamut puffs to give it an even better crunch and it wouldn't be crab cakes without some type of remoulade or some type of sauce taking one cup of brazil nuts a tablespoon of lime juice adding about one tablespoon of soy sauce garlic pepper to taste, a little bit of grapeseed oil, and I'm going to blend that up in my Ninja Blender. As you can see, the consistency is very thick. I also added a tiny, tiny bit of spring water, but as you can see, it's super thick still, so I'm gonna actually add a, a little bit more water because I like mine to be a bit more creamy. I'ma be super heavy-handed because this is comfort food, y'all, so I don't do this all the time, so I'ma go ham with this grapeseed oil and then add my crab cakes to a very, 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 very hot pan of grapeseed oil. As you can see, it's sizzling really nice. The Kamut puffs look beautiful. It's gonna give it a nice crunch on the top. But after about two minutes, I go ahead and flip them over till they're golden brown. And now I am highly annoyed because this somehow got out of focus, but now I am plating this with some grilled squash as well as some green beans on top of baby kale. Now everything's in focus and you can actually see how beautiful this meal came out. These crab cakes, y'all, are so bomb, but these are absolutely amazing. They taste very, very similar to crab cakes and I love these. I could probably make these every other day if I wanted to eat that much oil. I was not playing when I say I love my citrus. So I'm gonna add even more <laughs> lime on top. And I don't have a fork, so I'm gonna just grab it with my finger. But look at how meaty it looks. And I'm gonna take some of the sauce because the sauce is bomb. The sauce, the Brazil nuts kind of create a cheesy taste. So this sauce is kind of like a, mm. This is so good. The liquid smoke really sets the whole thing off. Like, if you like a smoky, charred flavor, liquid smoke is a plug, y'all. But this heart of palm, I wish you can see. It, it's, it's amazing. These, make these. If there's one thing, make these. Mm, bomb. All right, let's get, <clears throat> now I'm gonna take a little break and mention today's sponsor. Taking a quick little break to share a new plant-based recipe I got from Green Chef, coming with step-by-step -step picture instructions. Green Chef is a USDA verified organic company with meal plans including paleo, plant-powered vegan and vegetarian, keto, balanced living, and family. I love Green Chef because it helps me discover new recipes every single week. It's really helped when I've gotten kind of boring in the kitchen and I'm kind of creating the same things. These recipes are created by chefs, so they're filled with lots of flavor, especially because they have the pre-made sauces and spices that come in your Green Chef box every single week. And the ingredients come pre-measured, so everything's super quick and super easy to get started. For a total of $80 off plus free shipping, go to greenchef.us slash findguru80 and click get started. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. And this last and final meal in this video is going to be my alkaline chicken nuggets. Um, these are gonna be made out of mushrooms. So I'm going to take two very large portobello mushrooms and roughly chop them. I'm gonna take a half a cup of spelt flour, 
one teaspoon of ginger powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a tablespoon of oregano and add a little bit of spring water and mix that till it's well combined. Then I'm going to add my portobello mushrooms into the bowl. And then after those are mixed up, sometimes I actually like to leave them a little bit longer so that it actually soaks up the seasoning that I put into the flour. And then I'm going to add that into a bowl of just plain spelt flour. You can season the spelt flour if you want to and just be OD like I usually am. Was heavy handed with the wet flour so I don't really feel like I need to season the um, dry flour. And I'm also going to make a dipping sauce for this so I don't really need to season the dry flour. Now I'm going to be heavy handed again with the grapeseed oil so I'm going to cover the whole bottom of the pan with grapeseed oil and heat it up on very, 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 very high heat. Then add my mushrooms in. You wanna make sure that the heat is high so you can get a nice, crispy, I leave it on for about two minutes on each side. You guys, these mushrooms are so good, but this is something that I wanna make that's quick and easy, and as I mentioned, I am making this with a dipping sauce, so I, don't, I didn't really need to go ham on the seasoning for these mushrooms. After this is cooked for a total of about four to five minutes, I am then going to put this on a bed of baby kale so that it can soak up the excess oil. And this is 100% purely alkaline. I'm also going to be making and showing you guys an alkaline sauce that I like to pair with this using a red bell pepper. I'm gonna be starting out with a cup of Brazil nuts, then adding cayenne pe pepper to taste, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, then a half a teaspoon of onion powder, sea salt to taste, and some spring water. Then after roasting my red bell peppers, I'm going to add my bell peppers into the combination and also add a little bit of lime juice and put it into my Ninja Blender. This sauce, y'all, is super good. Think of something like a spicy nacho cheese sauce or if you added a little bit more cayenne pepper, it could be kind of like a, um, a hot sauce. And I'm going to add it to my little nugget and it is ready to eat. Now, this is not alkaline, but this is also a comfort food that I have been making, which is a spicy chicken mushroom sandwich, but minus the chicken. So I'm gonna be adding and adding some Cholula hot sauce, and I know I had sauce on it, but I love me some Cholula, and this is gonna be like a spicy chicken sandwich. And no type of burger is complete without any avocado, so I'm gonna put a few slices of avocado. This is comfort food. This burger is so bomb, y'all. If, if you are in the mood for something fried, if you're in the mood for something like a burger, this meal, y'all, is so good. The sauce that I made really sets it off because it gives it a very cheesy nacho taste. Mmm. It's one of those things that I can't really believe it's vegan, but it is. Even the mushrooms look meaty, but these are my comfort foods that are plant-based and alkaline. You can obviously tweak the ingredients to make it even more alkaline or purely alkaline, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys are interested in Green Chef, all the information will be down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!